will be William Holden. Paul Michael Glazer. TV series Starsky and Hutch, Paul Michael Glazer. Uh, the, a beautiful restaurant in Hollywood uh, with a young actor. Uh, and, I, and all the girls are going to scream all over this nation when I say this thing. <laughs> He plays one half of the title role in the hit series Starsky and Hutch. His partner, David Soule, co-hosted with us, so I'm especially pleased to meet Paul Michael Glazer. Paul, welcome to the show. Did the little girls scream at you when they see you in the street? Tell the truth. <laughs> How do you handle that? It's marvelous, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> After all these years? I don't complain about that, no. That's really something. I, I, expected, uh, I expected something to happen, but... Uh, I never expected it to happen on this scale. It's really something. <laughs> How long have you been at it? Are you an overnight success or no, have you been no, working at it? I don't, I don't it? think overnight successes exist. That's right. Sometimes it feels like it was overnight. You know, television is so fast. Television and, makes it overnight. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I've been at it for about 15 years. Yeah. Classical theatrical background. And uh, a few years of paying dues out here. Here it is. Yeah. In college? Yeah. Major in yeah. Where? Uh, I went to Tulane University undergraduate, Boston University graduate school. Are you from the East? Yep. Boston? I knew you were an Easterner. Could you tell it? Could yeah, you hear it? I just knew it. I could hear it in your speech. Uh, we, uh, how do you, uh, you and David, uh, personally, how do your personalities differ? What's different about you two guys? I would say that uh, a simple way of putting it uh, would be that uh, I tend to be more the extrovert, David the introvert. Uh, I uh, tend to express my pleasures and displeasures a little more overtly. That's saying the same thing. Yeah. Uh, that's the basic difference between us, really. And he's blonde, and I'm yeah. blonde. You must like each other because the chemistry has to be right for something. To be yeah, you can't, yeah, you, you can't. Yeah, really, you can't fake it. You know, and, and I can uh, once in a while. I don't uh, look at uh, dailies. You know, the daily film every day now. But when I go into do looping or something, and I watch a, a moment up on the screen, I can I can tell when Davey and I were uh, not hitting it off. Uh, but what's fascinating is the subtle ways, the very subtle ways. Uh, and anybody who's involved in any kind of an intense relationship uh, knows only too well what this means. A lot of times, someone sitting across the table who's a stranger to either one of you or both of you can't pick it up when one of you looks at the other with just a boom, just that little thing. Um, How do you work around it when it's not you and he are not really gelling? Well, we we try to get to it as as soon as possible. When I say it, I mean get to the fact that uh, we're ticked off with each other or yeah. upset about something. We try to discuss it, um, and we're pretty good. We have very good dialogue that way. We discuss things. Have our disagreements and agreements. It's really a fascinating situation because it is, to all intents and purposes, a marriage. That's you know, right. Uh, doing a, a TV series, uh, the conditions under which you shoot, uh, it's a very intense experience. You know? So uh, the first season was marked by a, a very definite drive on both of our parts to survive, just to make that thing happen, make it work. Yeah. Uh, the interesting thing that's happening this season, I find, is that. Whereas last season, I tended to uh, be more of the extrovert. I'm trying to learn how to, to lay back a little more this season to kind of round out my uh, uh, abilities as an actor. And, you know, a lot of times, it's easier for me to be aggressive or to, be, to go to it, go to it, yeah. uh, to act out, as opposed to just sit back and listen. David's a very good listener. He's very good at that. So I'm trying to pick up some of his his values and he's trying to pick up mine. So it's giving a different color to the series right now. I think the average person looks at guys like you and David with this kind of success and they think, well, they've arrived, they've got a hit series, they're just gonna sit back and ride with the tide. And that is not true. You continuously work at your craft, don't you? Yeah, I think you don't have a choice if you're, um, if you're primarily involved as an artist. Uh, there are great great many pressures which uh, you know more than I because you've been involved in business longer than I. And pressures having to do with success and, and, uh, and identity and, uh, and, and popularity and, and, and acceptance and 
these things uh, tend to lead you astray at times. Uh, so it's very important to, and it's very difficult, but it's very important to focus as the artist. You have a great deal of uh, first-class uh, stage experience. Did you win your audition for Starsky? Did you have to go in and actually do an audition? Yeah, for that yeah. They had already signed David to do Hutch, and they're looking for someone to play Starsky. And uh, I got the call, and I went in and met them. And uh, I read the first time I read, I only got a few lines out of my mouth, and they said, that, "That's enough. That's enough. Thank oh, you." Oh. And I took it to mean that. I took it to mean, well, that's one more job. On to the next thing. And then. Uh, I was called back and I met the producers, Aaron, Sp Aaron Spelling, Len Goldberg, yes. and uh, an ABC executive was there, the director. And I walked in the room and Henson Davey for quite a while. We m first met in New York nine years ago. And we kind of looked at each other and there was that click, that kind of, we could make it work. And we read. Well, I had, when I left the house that morning, there was a big, big, big brass bowl of walnuts on the table. So I picked up a handful of them and I stuck them in my pocket. So I went in to read. I took them on and just started eating the walnuts. Oh, while they put I the shell eating. around yeah. them? Yeah. You, know how you them? take two and you crack them together? Oh, yeah. So I started eating them. Other actors will appreciate that it's a trick. <laughs> Keep yourself involved. <laughs> Little shtick. <laughs> right. Keep yourself involved. I used to have an acting teacher used to say, when you're having trouble with a scene, he'd say, he'd give you a list of numbers, like six-digit numbers, about ten of them. And he says, now I want you to add this up in the course of the scene. And you're concentrating your involved. So I did that. I guess they like both the walnuts and me, so... <laughs> you recently did, uh, you made The Great Houdini's uh, as a TV movie the week, yeah. and it aired recently. What was it that intrigued you about Houdini? Well, Houdini, for me, he was uh, such a driven man. He was, he was, uh, first he was a man that was, that it's kind of hard to find his, uh, the phenomenon that he was in our present day. He existed in an age where uh, people were gullible and very involved and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and having a need to believe in man's ability to escape uh, and, and wanting it so badly that they're willing to suspend that disbelief and, yeah. and, and literally get behind this man who was a great showman, an incredible oh, showman, better showman, yes, than a, than than a, a magician. Than a magician. His sleight of hand was not that good. Uh, I would have wished that we could have uh, done a scene in the picture where he tried to slip a hand and do it. What's but, ahead for Paul Michael Glazer? Well, uh, I, I uh, obviously uh, look forward to uh, making the bridge from uh, uh, television to features. It's a broader canvas. It's not easy for a lot of people. No, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, recognizably difficult. It's difficult. Uh, Television. However, there are big stars who have made that transition. Yeah, yeah I'm fortunate, uh, I think, in that uh, I've been able to create with Starsky a character that uh, hits on many levels. Great so, dimensions. Yeah, so the perhaps character. I'll be able to avoid uh, as rigid a typecasting as happens to other actors. Thank you very much for visiting with me. It's all my pleasure. Thank you. Do you also work on Starsky and Hutch?